Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a yoga and Pilates workout that's going to follow a nice flow. I'm also going to include some yoga poses and stretches into this workout, so it's going to make you feel energized and mobilized. So while we're on the mat, let's just turn around and on to our knees facing the end of the mat and we're just going to sit on our heels flexing our feet and stretching the arches of our feet while we're here let's just take a few shoulder rolls going back and just making these nice and smooth sitting nice and tall and last one and now going forward with the shoulder rolls same thing going through the entire shoulder blade here good last one release your feet and let's just reach with our arms all the way up inhale and exhale start to bend your elbows nice and slowly and coming into your child's pose reaching forward and of course, if your body is craving some movement, just rock side to side here, maybe even massaging your forehead on the mat. Just slowly mobilizing our body before this workout, getting it all ready. So coming to your all fours position now, we're going to do a few spinal rolls. So really round out your spine here, come slightly forward, and then arch your back, coming back into your child's pose. And same thing, rounding it out forward, arching it back. Chin to your chest, and then looking up, dropping that belly. And now round out your spine, coming all the way down into your cobra pose, dropping those hips, look up, and now arch it all back into your child's pose, rounding it out, coming forward, opening that chest, and arch it back. And chin to your chest, and then looking up, arching it all back beautiful so just hold and then come to your all fours position inhale exhale tuck your toes under coming into your downward facing dog and you can pedal out your feet just warm them up gently and now bringing your heels down and inhale, we're gonna take our first exercise. Exhale, coming into our bear pose, and then back. And down, hovering those knees, nice tabletop position, and back. Inhale, exhale, engaging those abs, and back. Creating a nice line in that spine, head is looking straight ahead, or at the end of your mat and down exhale inhale and down and now hold it here and we're going to take opposite knee to elbow so just going across with that knee and three four inhale at center exhale as you bring the knee to your elbow and exhale inhale exhale Engaging those abs, almost there, just 10 of these. And now hold it, and then release back into your downward facing dog. And then just look straight ahead of you, walk yourself to your hands. Inhale, halfway up, and exhale, down. Inhale, coming up, reaching to the sky, and exhale, hands to heart. And now inhale again, reaching and lengthening. Exhale, forward fold. 
inhale reach your right foot back into your low lunge let's look up and then exhale we're just going to bring ourselves back into our chaturanga and then inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog holding here And now bring your right foot forward, inhale, look up, low lunge, exhale, step your back foot forward, coming down, forward fold, inhale, coming all the way up to standing, and exhale your hands to heart. Good, let's add on to this, so inhale, reach up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, stepping your left foot back, this time low lunge looking up and then exhale coming into your half split flexing the foot and just holding here hips are nice and square back is nice and straight and now inhale again look forward in your low lunge step your foot back exhale chaturanga elbows close to the chest inhale upward dog and exhale down dog holding and now inhale step your left foot forward coming back to your low lunge looking up and then exhale coming into your half split flexing the foot and going and balancing on that heel hips are nice and square feel that nice stretch in your hamstring and now inhale look forward and then reach and step your foot forward exhale forward fold inhale slowly up reaching and lengthening exhale hands to your heart inhale reach up exhale forward fold and now inhale reach your right foot back again this time we're going to come into our high lunge exhale Hips are nice and square here. And we're gonna get ready for our next exercise. We're gonna inhale, step forward, exhale back with the other leg. Inhale, step forward, exhale with the other leg again. So just switching side to side, but keeping that nice low squat or chair position as you step forward. And just going back as far as you can. Breathing the entire time and forward and back and forward step it back forward and step it back to your original side and now let's hold it here again get your center inhale hold and now exhale let's bring our hands together into a nice prayer pose and at the same time we're going to twist to our right side bending our back knee so squatting down as we twist inhale exhale down inhale exhale down keeping a nice straight spine here making sure to go as low as you can and down back up twist and up keep going and hold it here in this twist and pulse it pulse 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 just breathing normally here you can do it and hold it stretch your back leg stretch your arms and now bring your left hand to the inside of your right foot and just reaching up here a few more seconds here then we're going to bring our gaze down and sneak our right foot out to the side coming to a side plank and just holding here first engaging your abs 
and then slightly coming down and up. So pulsing it here, lifting those hips as high as you can, and up, up, up. Keep breathing normally here. And now hold it, look up if you can. And now take a nice inhale, exhale, bring your gaze down, bending your bottom leg, so your left knee, stretching your upper arm above you, taking a nice side body stretch. And now grounding your right foot, get ready, because we're gonna lift up, so inhale, exhale, lift your upper body and reach to the other side in this side body stretch. So right hand to the right knee or calf, And getting ready for our next exercise. Come back to center, coming down, and then lifting our leg. And then back up, side body stretch. And now lift the leg, inhale, exhale, stretch, inhale, exhale, lift. Engaging your abs as you lift the leg. Trying to stretch that knee as much as possible and trying to lift it as much as possible and lift the leg coming up using those obliques stretch using your obliques to bring you down and up good keep going breathing here And last side body stretch, come back down, lift your leg, and let's pulse it out. Pulse, pulse, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can bring your top arm to your hip if your arm is killing you. And up, 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 keep going. Almost there. And hold it. Hold that leg. And now just bringing it down. Trying to bring that leg in front of you, grounding the foot. And then we're just going to sneak our whole body down onto the mat, dropping that right knee onto the mat or ground as well. Stretching your arms in front, either staying here or you can bring your right arm all the way up and then exhale bring it under your other shoulder creating a nice twist here just giving yourself a nice rest while stretching those shoulders bringing our focus back to the breath taking a moment for ourselves here before we do this all on the other side few more breaths here just taking this moment for ourselves and then slowly release our arm back bring our head forward and just bringing our leg back together hands to your chest and just pushing yourself up into your child's pose just a quick moment here And now inhale, come to your all fours position. Exhale, tuck your toes under and come into your downward facing dog. Good. And let's just inhale, step our right foot forward. Exhale, bring our arms all the way up, holding here. 
standing nice and tall. And let's get ready to just take our alternating lunges. So just coming together, hands to your heart, and then back to your lunge on the other side. And inhale here, exhale together. Coming to a nice chair pose or as low as you can in those knees. Hips are square the entire time. Together and back. Together and back. And keep going. And now let's pause on that left side, holding here, getting ready for our twist exercise. Hands to your heart. Inhale, exhale, twist and bending the back leg, stretching both legs at the top. And again, down and up. If you'd like to keep your front knee bent for a little bit more stability as you come up, please do. And up, inhale, exhale, twist, and twist. Center, twist, keep going. And now just holding here after this one and let's pulse it out so just pulse 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 keep breathing nice and normally and hold stretch your back knee stretch your arms and just coming down with your right hand to the inside of your left foot, reaching your other arm to the sky in a nice line with your shoulders, looking up if you'd like. And now just bring your gaze down. Let's sneak that left foot through and into our side plank. So holding here, lifting those hips, and let's begin to pulse it out here as well. So pulse, pulse for 10 times. Engaging those abs, belly button to the spine. Good. Lifting as high as you can here. And hold it. And now just release your right knee down to the mat. And just holding here for a nice side stretch. Bring your arm above your head. I'm just turning around so you can see me better. So nice long side body. And now just take a nice inhale, exhale, come up with your upper body, reaching your hand to the back of your knee or shin or even calf. <laughs> and let's just get ready for our next exercise. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, using your obliques to bring you down. And then we lift our leg, exhale, inhale, exhale, side stretch and lift the leg and stretch and lift engaging your abs as you lift your leg and trying to keep that knee nice and extended and stretch just kind of have fun with this exercise if you'd like to make the arms a little bit flowy please do and don't forget to use those obliques as you come up and down And now just coming down and let's pulse it out in these leg lifts. So pulse, 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 abs are nice and strong. Keep that knee extended, lifting higher, higher. Good, going for 20 here, we're almost there. And hold it and now just release it bring that left knee in front and just dropping your knee down sneaking your back right leg under 
and then just dropping down with your upper body stretching your arms forward either staying here or adding a nice twist by reaching your left arm all the way up inhale exhale sneaking it under your right arm and then just holding here catching your breath taking this moment for yourself And now just slowly bring your arm back to center as well as your upper body. Bring your left leg back together with the other. And then just pushing yourself up in to your child's pose, quickly rounding out the spine. And then just taking a nice inhale in, coming to your all fours, exhale, tuck your toes under, and coming to your downward facing dog, walking it out if you need to, hold. And coming to our last exercise, we're gonna inhale, come into our plank as we exhale, and we're just gonna take our knee to our elbow, opposite knee to elbow always, so going across each time inhale at center exhale knee to your elbow inhale exhale inhale exhale good just taking it nice and slow now you can keep going at this pace or take it double time as i'm about to do and let's go keep going keep breathing and let's just release after this one come back to your plank and then just drop your knees down coming into your child's pose give your wrists a rest roll them out if you need to stretch them if you need to And now just rounding out your spine, coming to your all fours. Let's come down into our cobra pose, stretching out our abs, opening the chest, looking up if you can. And slowly release, and we are finished for today. I thank you all for joining me on this practice, and if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you're looking for a consistent practice, check out the description below on my online classes. So everybody, see you next time.